If you're an old Atari nerd like me, then you know the Atari 2600 Classic Game Adventure very well. It was always one of my favorites, and every time I do a review of anything that has these games, I usually fire up Adventure because it's just, it's so good. It's so good. But if you're not an old nerd like me, you might only know it by its reputation as having the first ever Easter egg, but it's so much more than that. Hey there, welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John and I am a Gen X Grown Up. And in this continuing little mini series of playing through some of my favorite 2600 games, I finally come to Adventure. Uh, look, it's three dragons, three castles, and a chalice. It's a really simple game. Would you believe, you might not if you have never played it, this is the whole map. That's it. For some reason, I think people approach adventure and think it's very cryptic and very difficult to play. It's super easy, and it's the simplicity of the game with the randomization that makes it so much fun for me. And of course, the thing I talked about my reputation is that the Easter egg that Warren Robinette put into the game, it was actually discovered after he was gone from Atari, so they couldn't do anything about it. The cartridges were already out there, and it was all... It was like that time when Activision was about to form because Atari was not giving any recognition to the developers who designed the game. And Robinette said, oh no you don't, I'll make it happen. So I'm gonna take Adventure, I happen to have my, uh, my XP, fancy XP version of Adventure here. We're gonna plug it in, I'm gonna play through the whole game. Yeah, we're gonna finish the game, but we're also gonna get that Easter egg. Let's get after it. So here's Adventure, fired up. You're greeted with the opening room and a number one in the middle. It's because there are three game variations. Game Variation 1 is like a beginner's game. It's like, oh, well, everything's in the same place and the, the entire kingdom is really little and it's easy and there's no mazes. 2 is the expanded full kingdom, but everything is in a predictable place. It's the same place every time. So once you've played 1 and 2, 3 is the one you're going to play every time after that. Because otherwise, it's predictable. You know what to expect. Uh, also, there's some difficulty switches. There's enough challenge to <laughs> adventure already. Uh, one of the difficulty switches makes the dragons attack you more fiercely, and the other one makes the dragons afraid of the sword, which makes it difficult to ever kill them because they run away from it. But anyway, both difficulty switches on B, game variant 3, hit start, and away we go. So you always start here at the Gold Castle. There are only two real regions to go to. There's the White Castle Kingdom in the southeast and the Black Castle Kingdom in the northwest. So uh, let's start with the White Castle. We'll go southeast, see what's down here. And because we're playing three, again, everything is randomized. We don't know where we're going to find anything. Uh, there's the magnet that attracts other objects. There's the gold key. Go ahead and grab that for now. And you only carry one object at a time, right? So there's the bridge. So see if you let go of it. It attracts over to the uh, magnet. That can be really handy for getting things that are stuck in walls. Or Then there's this damn bat who always takes the thing you're using. So for now, I'm going to try to use the bat. So you can carry the bat. I'm going to go take the bat, use it to unlock the gold castle since he's carrying it. There we go. Ha ha! <laughs> and let him go. Now, he's probably going to go try to take another key from me. So head back. I think he dropped off the black key. Yeah, all right. Well, if that's what we've got... Let's go take this to the Black Castle. The great thing about keys is once you use them to unlock their appropriate castle, bat, once you use them to unlock the castle, they're really just bat bait. You're just using them to get the bat's attention. Now, I don't know my way around this maze, though it might look like I do. I've just memorized a little path that I use every single time when I come through the maze. And if, and if I need to go anywhere else in the maze, good luck to me. Ah, there's the sword! Yay! That'll come in really handy. All right. Probably a dragon up here. The chalice is in one of the castles. It's either in the black or the white. I don't see it in here yet. So the chalice might be in the white castle. So let's take this sword. And by the way, we are going to finish the game, but we're also going to do the Easter egg. So, all right. Heading to the white castle region again, now that I have the sword. I haven't seen the white key yet, so it might be on the other side. Oh, there's the white key. And there's a dragon. Got him. All right. And now we know where the white key is. Let's go check. There's the opposite side of this maze. There's another little set of three rooms. There's this one, one below, and one above that sometimes things are in. Nothing else. All right. We're looking for the white key, and we know that the bat had it. So wherever the gold key was... There it is. Now we can get in the White Castle. Boop. Awesome. All right, let's go take a peek inside. There's a region of the White Castle you can only access with the bridge, and luckily, it's right here. 
So let's head inside. Whoa, did the bat just take my bridge? Right, you see that? Right as I walked in, he flipped it with the gold key. All right, we really need that bridge. <laughs> so I'm going to leave some stuff out here to try to lure the bat to drop off the bridge here. There he is. Excellent. Okay, now we can take the bridge and explore. Now you notice how when there are three things in a room, it flickers, right? So right now there's the, uh, the gate, the key, and the bridge. And if I were to poke the key out off screen, it stops flickering. Now that's useful information. That's how you find that hidden dot for the Easter egg later. Uh, well, that's how we found it before we had the internet anyway. So what I'm looking for is there's a secret area that you can only access with the bridge. So I pass up here and see if uh, see what I find. Sometimes it's down here. No? All right. Well, the chalice must be buried somewhere in the Black Castle then, and I just didn't see it yet. We'll need that bridge in the Black Castle later, so I'm going to take it with me. Because you must have the bridge to access the dot that gives you access then to the Easter egg to see Warren Robinette's name. Oh! The bat just dropped off a, a dragon? All right. Grr! Come back, bat! Like, what's the one thing I need right now? The bridge. What's the one thing he wants? The bridge. I'm just going to try to get him to pick up something else and leave us the bridge. How about this key? You like that key? He did. Good. In we go. All right, let's look around. Where? I never did see the... There's the chalice! Found it. Okay. There's the chalice. There's the red dragon, Rendell. Now we really need that sword again. So let's come back. We're going to use this to get the Easter egg. Let me go grab the sword and do some dragon slaying. It's not over here, is it? There it is! Yeah! All right. <laughs> Let's get after that red dragon, shall we? Oh, kill the golden on the way. Happy accident. <laughs> Green's dead, yellow's dead. We only have to kill Rindle. Now, I desperately need the sword. You know the bat's going to come try to steal the sword, right? That's usually how it works. Oh, there he is. Well, he stole the dragon, at least. Whew. Rindle is up here. That's the red dragon. Got him. Now, that flicker has a negative impact on us because sometimes it interferes with hit, hit detection. You saw it was kind of tough for me to kill him. He's blocking that entrance. But we gra grab our chalice. Okay, chalice is here. Now, we have two things left to do. Find the Easter egg, dragons aren't a problem anymore, and finish the game. Now, I'm not going to stop this video, but as I mentioned many times in my videos, we have a merch store. <laughs> If you're looking for cool Atari kind of themed shirts or nerdy shirts, please stop by jetxgrownup.com slash merch. Everything you purchase over there, whether it's a t-shirt or a phone case or a magnet or a pin or whatever, a sticker, it benefits Gen X Grown Up and it goes right back into the channel. So please pop over there if you would and find something cool for you or somebody you like. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, now let's start with the Easter egg. This is really cool. So I love this Easter egg. So the way to do it is there, it's twofold. You must have the dot and you must have more than three things in the room where you're going to work. So I know the way to the secret little room. All right. Right down here is a room you can only access with the bridge. So I'm going to come down here and the very right hand corner. Listen. Well, what is that? See that teensy weensy one pixel dot? That's the secret. We need that in order to get to the Easter egg. So heading back out. Now we have the dot. Now you can't see it because it's gray, but it's right there. So we take that dot to the Eastern room above the White Castle Kingdom. See how it made that, uh, that vertical line invisible? See how it's not there when that's on screen? See my little dot that you can see in the green right there? So it does the same thing, but on the eastern wall, that's where we're going to do the work. We have the dot, so we never need to move the dot again. I'm going to leave it right there in the wall. There's two things. We need a third thing in this room to make everything flash. I'll grab the magnet, or whatever you leave me, Bat. Just take whatever you want. Everything I pick up, he wants. Here we go. This is it. Pass through the wall. Boom. Warren Robinette put his name into adventure right here. But to do it, you've got to find the single pixel dot. You've got to bring three items to the room. You have to know where to look. You have to know where to put stuff. And even though Atari wouldn't give him credit, 
he got his name into the game, which I think is fantastic. And it started a tradition that we love to this day. All right, let's finish the game. Go get the chalice. Bring it back to the gold castle here. There's one of two ways to do it. I have a preference. You can either push the chalice into the room or you can pull the chalice into the room. Uh, I prefer to push it. That way the, uh, the fireworks display happens on the gold castle, not on the empty room. If all that made no sense, don't worry. It makes no difference. You win the game either way. Is the bat going to show up at the last second and ruin our good time? I hope not. Here we go. We're here. Ready? Chalice, return to the gold castle. Here we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we did it. Silly fun. Silly, silly, silly fun. Now, I went and saw the Easter egg first because the game freezes here. You're done. You can't do any more. Uh, but we have accomplished. We killed all three dragons. We got into all three castles. We found the Easter egg. We cursed at the bat because he's a pain in the ass. And we put the chalice back in the gold castle. That, that is the, that is the why adventure. It's just one of my favorite, favorite 2600 games. I love, love, love this game. It's definitely my top five, maybe my top three. Such a great, so much fun. And look, I can understand if you didn't play this in the day, why you might look at it and go, the arrow is a sword and the box is a guy and the dragons look like ducks. I don't get it. I know, I understand, but ignore the simplicity. Ignore how rudimentary it is and just do the fighting the, the bat, dealing with him. It's, it's almost like it has a mind of its own and the kingdom feels real for the day uh, comp compared and combined with the uh, the artwork that came on the box. It just, you know, it's adventure. It's so great. <laughs> Look, th thank you for watching this. If you have other ideas or suggestions or requests for other games you'd like me to give a quick playthrough uh, as I've done in this video, please sound off in the comments. I'm definitely taking requests and have a lot of fun doing it. As usual, I will throw links over my shoulders here and here to some more of these types of videos I've done recently. Of course, I hope you found something to enjoy in this video, and I can't wait to talk to you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>